Happy Friday. This weekend is a really exciting astrological weekend, and I know that I keep saying that, and a lot of other astrologers do, but it's just a really lovely, wonderful time period. And we know the planets aren't like happening to us, that they're just offering us this accessible energy, and we can utilize it to the best of our abilities. But like the image that came through, and why you're like right here, and right here is like, look right at me, kid. Look right at me. Don't look over there. Don't look over there. Look right at me. And I want either to utilize me, your higher self, your goals, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you're focused on. We know going into Gemini season, as well as with this Jupiter transit coming up, like what you focus on will expand. So stay true to yourself and stay true to your image and stay true to the image that you have for the future. Because we have three on, I'm recording this on the 17th on Friday and Saturday, the 18th is when we have three conjunctions and they're going to be accessible for the whole weekend. Definitely so but I want you to really feel into it tomorrow on Saturday. So I have the Sun conjunct Jupiter right over here in Taurus. I have Venus conjunct Uranus in Taurus and I have Mars conjunct the North Node over here. And it's not all by the second, you know, so it's off by, you know, a few minutes. So it's by degree, Mars and the North Node in Aries, Venus and Uranus in Taurus and the Sun conjunct Jupiter in Taurus as well. And so I... I'm an Aries sun conjunct Jupiter in Aries. So that's why I'm such a rambunctious type of like natally that placement sun conjunct Jupiter is gregarious, is excitable. Hi, if we've never met, nice to meet you. It could also be a little bit delusional. A little bit delusional. I'll speak from I statements. I meet people at the grocery store. I'm like, you can fly today if you want to. You can do anything you put your mind to. And it's like you kind of have to unpack some child ancestral stuff before you do that. But, you know, as I don't want to get into it. So I don't want you to expand Jupiter, something that you do not want. Ego, sun. So then sun in the sky is like a lighthouse, shining a light on different things. So this is happening near the end of Taurus, which runs the second house of money, values, and access to resources. I don't want you to get scared of something. I don't want something to, how do I say? When you meet the person that you're meant to be with in this world, you don't like hop into it on day one, you enjoy it. You enjoy the movie. So I don't want you to jump to the end of the book and read the last page. I don't want you to jump to the end of the good good. I really don't. I want you to be in it and get excited for it. You know, I really love this placement, but I just, just don't be naive. Don't be naive. So we have Uranus conjunct Venus over here, which I really love. Uranus is our galactic planet. It's lightning bolt energy. And Venus is our yin. It's how we love. It's how we give and receive love. So this really could be you walking by some really beautiful flowers. You know, I, it's the springtime in Gloucester. And, you know, this everything's in bloom. And it's so beautiful to see that even driving around, you can see the trees becoming green. And it's just so lovely. So getting lost in that and getting lost in the beauty of this world and not so much like oh my god there's ticks everywhere and oh I forgot that mosquitoes come and the cicadas and blah 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 it's like really sink into the present moment because it is a present the north node is our collective des collective destiny it's the head of the dragon it's what we're working towards and the south node in libra i know it's all the way over here is what we're releasing it's the past life and you know the comfy blanket in libra and a lot of us are changing relationships or friendship groups are changing relationships are changing a lot of people are getting divorced right now a lot of people are really changing and uh, there's a lot of breakups there's a lot of death there's a lot of things that your soul contracted. So there's no judgment for myself or yourself or others, but what's getting activated, our Mars energy, our assertive planet, this is our divine masculine, it's how we are aggressive. That is being activated in a way that's so exciting. So it's almost like a lot of people might be getting opportunities. A lot of people might be getting good, bad, or ugly, the things that they contracted right quick. And so I really, like I said, look right at me. Look right at me. Don't look at what your best friend is getting because they might get their blessings before you. Time is not real. We created it. So if you're in a pause moment, be in an empress type of energy. Don't be in the emperor type of an energy. Emperor, empress, or hair effect, whatever, whichever which way you'd like to spin it. 
but I want you to know that your path is your path. What is meant for you is only meant for you. There's no rushing it. So really keep some blinders on and celebrate the wins of the people around you, but don't look at it. If there's jealousy coming up, if there's frustration coming up, if there's, oh my God, they got the thing and I really wanted the thing. Know that your thing is only meant for you because it's your thing. Celebrate the people next to you. Celebrate what they're experiencing and be there for those that are going through incredible losses and incredible lows. Everything is an up and a downswing. So be there for someone's downswing. Celebrate their upswing, but also know that your time is your time. This could be your things coming in quick. Uranus is lightning bolt. We can't really predict when that's going to happen. Sun and Jupiter and Taurus. Taurus is still chugga chugga. So it's things could happen slow, never, eventually. Just know that when you are in the absolute right time and place alignment for your blessings to find you, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. This is a lot of energy. So I just wanted to offer this little video for you to say you are right where you're meant to be. What's meant for you is only meant for you. Try not to impose your judgment onto other people that says this is good, this is bad, or this is ugly. Just be there for them with unconditional love. Be there for yourself in unconditional love. Feel what you're feeling as it comes up and just be open to God blessing you every day. Be open to it every single day. Don't, at the end of every day, if you know the thing that you're trying to manifest or create or the person, whatever it may be, if you say like, well, I messed it up because today wasn't the day. I want you to just be grateful that you lived another day and find something, fingers and toes, coffee, tea, water, whatever it may be, the roof over your head to be grateful for. Be grateful for where you are, but never lose that childhood sense of wonder. Yeah. Yeah, things are going to get galactic so quick, like beyond what even I can possibly say. So be open to it in a really healthy, safe way. I pulled a tarot card for us for this when I was talking about this, and my guides gave me this. Is love and emotions and beautiful water energy coming in in a lovely, lovely way. But you know me, I like to get a major arcana card. So you know that your soul is meant to be here. Appreciate the little things. And it's only the top down, the crown that falls down. The roots are good, the structure's good, the structure stays. Anything else? Get out in the garden, kids. What are you most grateful for? Three things.